Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on constructing a velocity time graph. Now a velocity time graph, sometimes also known as a speed times graph, is where on the x-axis, the horizontal axis, you have the time. So as more time passes, you go from left to right. And then on the y-axis, the vertical axis, you have the velocity. Now velocity and speed are very similar. The only difference between velocity and speed is that with velocity, we also care about the direction. So we could say that we're heading 30 miles per hour in a north direction, and that would be your velocity. Whereas with speed, we would only care about the 30 miles per hour, we wouldn't care about what direction you're going in. Also, velocity can be negative, so you can actually be going backwards because we care about direction, whereas with speed, we can't have negative speeds. So a vehicle is moving on a straight road, the vehicle is initially at a fixed velocity of 9 metres per second. And by the way, when we have a unit like this, ms to the minus 1, think about what happens when you have a power of minus 1. That means 1 over s. So that would be m times 1 over s, which is m over s, which is often written as m slash s like that, which is just metres per second. So it means the same thing. How many metres are you travelling each second? It maintains the speed for 10 seconds before decelerating uniformly, coming to rest after further 5 seconds. So we want to complete this velocity time, the speed time graph, to illustrate the motion of the vehicle. Now we're told it's initially going 9 metres per second. So where's 9 metres per second? It's here, so that's 9. And initially just means at time 0. So it goes this fixed velocity, the fixed speed, so it maintains the 9 metres per second for 10 seconds. So up to the 10 second mark, here's the 10 second mark, it's going at that same speed. It then decelerates uniformly. Decelerates means to slow down, and uniformly just means it's slowing down at the same rate. And that's going to result in a straight line going downhill. The line is going to go downhill because we're decelerating, the speed is decreasing. And because we're decelerating uniformly, that downhill line is going to be a straight line. So it's going to come to rest after further 5 seconds. Well, it's currently at 10 seconds, so if it comes to rest after further 5 seconds, we'll be at the 15 second mark. So at 15 seconds, our speed will be 0, our velocity will be 0, and then we just want a straight line connecting the two to say we're slowing down, we're decelerating from here to here. And that is the final answer.